The Saxon Mold Shabine has entered contemporary South African folklore and now it's going public thanks to the collective creativity of two of South Africa's favourite entertainers. Harry and the Gupta has nothing to do with magicians, but mysterious things happen to money when a shady Durban entrepreneur meets a notorious businessman with Dubai connections. Apparently, Vakash Mathura and Jack Devnarayan have some inside information. So, we sent Kriya to find out more. Sometimes in South Africa, laughter really is the best medicine, especially in today's political climate. Today, I get to spend time with two veteran actors who are taking Harry and the Gupta on a nationwide tour. Over the past three decades, we've come to know and love showbiz personality Jack Devnarayan through his many characters, while his friend and colleague Vikash Mathura successfully brought an entire family of hilarious personas to the airwaves and stage, including the notorious politically incorrect Uncle Bala. Jack and Vikash have joined forces for a brand new production. Hello, gentlemen. Hello, Kriya. Sounds like you are in the middle of a strategy session. We are strategizing like we usually do. Right now, it's the big one because we're concerned about making sure that our play, Harry and the Gupta, is going to go off and it's, it's got to be seen by audiences around the country because I think Vikash and I both care very deeply about where is the country at and what's important to us. And we, we think about the Mandela years and we reflect on his legacy now. And what do we miss about him? And the show that we came up with is a show that has touch points that everybody can resonate with. Everybody is invested in the politics of South Africa and in everything that happens in our everyday life. The one icon you always remember who stood solid, uh, who was grounded in his foundation about sincerity and ethics mm. was Madiba. Absolutely. So tell me a bit about the show. Where can we see it and when? The initial idea was to take it to Durban and Johannesburg. Yeah. Right now, the idea is to take the show to five provinces around the country, 30 performances in the next six months. So from July, we open in Johannesburg at the Lyric. A week thereafter, we go to Durban. And then from there, we head to Port Elizabeth, we head to Peter Marisburg, we go off to Mpumalanga, to Emelashleni, we go off to Nelspreit, we're off to East London, we're off to Cape Town, Richards Bay, Port Shepston, Newcastle, Chatsworth. We'll get back to Johannesburg. So it's, it's going to be a pretty hectic tour. What would you say to someone coming to watch the play that might think that it's a very Indian-focused play? The beginning of the show, there's a glossary for everybody who may not be from the South African Indian origin. Jack and I spent about a month thinking about the name of the show. And we wanted to call it Bala and the Gupta. Peru and the Gupta. That would have been too Indian. Harry is a nice, neutral English name. It'll suit everybody. And yeah. everybody yeah. will leave there understanding exactly what transpired, what they watched, what they laughed at. They'll get the humor. Well, thank you so much for spending a bit of time with me this afternoon and giving me some good laughs. It's definitely going to be an amazing play. You heard where it is. Make sure you get your tickets now online.